If you're looking to get started with Runway Gen 2, I've written over 2,000 prompts when Gen 2 was in closed beta, and here are a few basic things I've learned. Think like a screenwriter, not a director of photography. So use words that describe what you want to see in the shot. Don't worry about the camera models and the lenses. I don't think you see any improvement with camera models or specific lenses, but I do usually have luck with words like cinematic, award-winning cinematography, award-winning shot. That kind of does the heavy lifting for you. Having said that, camera types that work consistently tend to have a specific function, like underwater camera footage, aerial drone footage, black and white camera footage, microscopic view, shot on VHS. Gen 2 is not great at realistic people, especially doing complex things. If you have a group of people doing something, it tends to clone them. And if you're too specific, things are going to get weird. Stick to things like smiling, but throw in a cinematic or award-winning shot. Camera movement tends to be hit or miss in my experience. So panning shot, zoom in, zoom out, dolly. They tend to add motion to the shot, but a zoom may be a pan or a pan may be a zoom. Shot framing works a little better. There's a medium shot, close-up shot, wide angle shot. I found that close-ups on people are better when the person is doing one simple thing. Adding emotion sometimes causes weird things to happen. Nature and landmarks turn out really well, in my opinion. They won't look exactly like the real landmark, but they can evoke the look you're looking for. Especially if you do an aerial drone footage and add cinematic. Putting the time of the day in there, I think, is great. Like golden hour, sunrise, sunset twilight. These are really good shortcuts to great looking shots. All right, those are some of the quick tips I have. Please share any tips that you have. Now go make some cinematic award-winning videos with AI.